Today I want to show you how to run Win Image Edit 2509 on 8GB of VRAM. I'm using RTX 4070. Just go to Comfy UI. I assume you are already familiar with Comfy UI and you got it on your machine already installed. Make sure you got the latest update and go to the Browse Templates and search for 2509. Then you will see this here. Just open the workflow. I'm not going to use this model. I will use the GGUF model. And I need the loader node. For that one, I just connect this to the model here. And I can delete this one. I am using the Q6 underscore K. I will give you a link in the description. This is where I got the file from. And this is it. Q6 underscore K. For the other model files, you can find them in the model links box here. And down here, you will find the location where you have to put the files to. For the demonstration, I'm going to use the same prompts and image input as my test in my Nano Banana video. So first of all, I'm going to do the snow scene. I need three input. This one go to here and unbypass this by pressing Ctrl B. Put the lady here and the background here. As you can see here, it, this one is using the first image as the aspect ratio. So if you want to get another aspect ratio, you can do this by put this to here and change the width and height on this node. But for the demonstration, I'm not going to do this. I think that's good enough by using the first image. Then I need a prompt here. So as we have seen on the Nano Banana video, it is a snow scene with a man and a woman taking a selfie. So let's run it. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look. How long did it take? 166 seconds. That's about three minutes. Not too bad. Okay, that's the output. Okay, this is Nano Banana. I think this is more photorealistic. And I quite like the background here. If you look at the reference image here, so this is a reference image, so it's quite close to the original one. And this one is turning around here. And this is very risky that something can be messed up. And I think the face, this one look more like me. This one is too young here. Anyway, the result is not too bad, but I still prefer the Nano Banana one. For the next one, let's try the fire scene in Chinatown. That's what we have done last time. So this is a post diagram. So one single image and bypass these two and change the prompt. And go. OK, it's done. As you can see from here, we are using only four steps. And it took less than two minutes. This is what we are having. You can see the jacket with the dragon is here, but somehow the pose it didn't come out properly. The, the face is matching. Now what I can do is I'm going to separate it in different image. So we need four images. One is for the pose and two for the faces and one for the jacket. What I'm going to do is I add a stitch node. I just move this over and get this over here. So and drag and drop, duplicate this one. Now I got two of them and put this face here and put the jacket here and put the pose here. Now run again. 
OK is done. As you can see, the pose is really good. The face doesn't look really like me, but the street is a uh, busy street, is not bad. If you compare the pose, Queen does more taking over the exact pose here compared to this one. It has fixed a little bit the pose and look more natural. This one is look basically very close to the drawing. And this is not always advantage. And as I put in the prompt, I try to zoom in to get the face better. So, but print didn't zoom in, so the face is a little bit off. Anyway, but it's still not too bad. Okay, for the next test, I'm going to do the changing the camera view. So for that one, I only need one image. So it should rotate and show the other side of the cruise ship. This is the one I use on Nano Banana. And let's see on this one. Let's go. Okay, it's done. Unfortunately, it hasn't done much. Somehow it just added a man and that's all. It's not changing the camera view at all. So you can see it has zoomed out a little bit and that's all. And unfortunately, I couldn't get it to work like a Nano Banana. I have changed the prompt a little bit, use other words and still no success. If you have success how to change the camera view, just let me know in the comment. The next test, uh, I'm going to do the multi-panel. This is the one, my prompt. So it should create some panels with the Lego character and use the reference image in the last panel. Let's go. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look. It did make four panels, but unfortunately, these are two boys, these are two girls. I did specify the last panel should use the reference image. Somehow it did change the reference image as well. Uh, there are so many mistakes. The, 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 these are two girls, these are two boys. Riding scooter, doing homework, these are okay. But I don't think I can fix the image by telling fixing which panel. I did that before, but it didn't work properly. Somehow it added a book as well. It's nice, but I didn't ask for that. Okay, finally, one more thing I want to try. What I love to do is uh, create images for the first and last frame video. So basically, I've got an image. I want them to move a little bit to create a, a different frame for the video generation. I want to make the man facing the woman and woman looks up and smile and put her hand on her chest. So let's try it. Okay, it's done. Very nice here. I just put my images on my compare videos note. If you haven't got it, just go to the manager and search for compare videos, install the note. And I can put a low image here. And this is the original image. And this is just generated with her hand on her chest. You can see the background is changing a little bit. Not much is good. But somehow the person is getting moving lower. That's not very good. If you compare the background here, it's not too bad, just moving a little bit. I'm going to use this as a first and last frame for a video generation. Maybe it won't be that noticeable. So let's see it at the end. I think that's all about Green Image Edit 2509. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Watch, or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video.